Hi, it's Paul Wolf from HowToPlayBass.com here with a lesson for beginners on how to play the bass line to It Must Be Loved by Madness. If you are a beginner, the best way of making forward progress um, and making sure you don't go down any dead ends is to take lessons with a teacher. Um, if you can't find a teacher where you live, I have a unique series of online bass lessons. There's an interactive element to it. Each lesson has an assignment that you've got to film and post for me. Um, I can teach you how to post privately on YouTube so that only I can see it, um, so that I can critique it before you move on to the next lesson. Um, if you're interested in that, there's a link to the in the description box to the left of this video. Um, hop over there, have a look. Um, if that might be a fit for you, use the contact form on my website and send me an email. Now, it must be love. It's a good tune for beginners to get their heads around because it's not hard. Um, the notes that are played fairly straightforward but there's quite a few different sections um, some different little things going on so it's it's a bit more not complex but it's a, it's a bit more involved than just a basic verse and a, a basic riff for example the verse is played in three different ways it's never repeated and um, played in different ways depending on which part of the tune you're in so we'll look at all of that in this video probably end up being a two-parter with YouTube's length restrictions so let's get cracking and let's look at the first verse I never thought I'd miss you half as much as I do Okay, the first verse um, starts with the piano intro and then the verse comes in, um, I set the metronome going and I'll play the pattern that's played. There's two different ones. The first one's this, one, two, three, four. Quickly look at those notes. You've got G, fifth fret, the D string, open D string, and E, second fret of the D string. So it's G, G, D, E, D, G, G, D, E, D, and then you've got this triplet run at the end, which is G. A. So that's the first time through. Second time through, similar, slightly different run. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's identical. Those bits G, open D, E, open D. But then the triplet run is. That's C, third fret of the A string, and then up to D, which is the fifth fret of the A string. And that takes us to the first pre chorus. Okay, the pre-chorus is played pretty much the same all the way through the song. Play through with the metronome and then we'll talk through the notes. Two, three, four. Okay, so let's talk through those notes. Pretty straightforward. First bar is E, 7th fret A string. Then down to A. And up to D. And A, sorry, 5th fret E string. D, 5th fret A string. Then down to open E. And there's a passing note there, G, 3rd fret of the E string. And then you've got this... That's A, down to G, F sharp, and then you've got that triplet run. So those notes, A, 5th fret, E string, G, 
third fret E string, F sharp, second fret E string, and then D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, D, fifth fret uh, A string, E, second fret D string, F sharp, fourth fret D string, G, fifth fret D string, A, second fret G string, B, third fret G string. Um, and that's the pre-chorus. Now the only variation to that is in the third pre-chorus on the the run down instead of the, the notes being held for two beats they're held for they're one beat and there's a beat of space so it's more If you listen to the original recording, you'll hear that clearly, that those notes aren't sustained. But other than that, that stays the same all the way through. Pretty much play the same way all the way through. I'll play the first bit with the metronome. Three, four. Okay, the next two bars are in three, four, which is why I switched the metronome off. Um, but you can get the timing from the record. It's very straightforward. It's back to 4-4 four, four for that last note which is held for two bars. Let's go back to the start of the chorus and look at the notes. The first bar is G which is the third fret of the E string Then it moves up to B and C which are the second and third frets of the A string. The three notes on B are quarter note triplets over the first two beats so you get um, again you get that interesting rhythmic effect um, so you go from B C, 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 D, and that's their second, third, fifth frets of the A string. Then you repeat that pattern. And then you've got C, D, E, um, which are third, fifth, seventh frets of the A string. Now I go up to the E there so that you're in position to play verse 2. Um, there. Um, you could play E there and play verse 2 in a different format, but uh, for me it just works better that way. But you'll see the notes in second for verse 2. You can experiment with your own way. Um, so that's the chorus. Don't freak out about those three, four bars. The bass is really clear on the original, so if you have a listen to that, put that together with the notes that I'm teaching, you should be able to get that rhythm. So let's move on to the next part, which is verse 2.